Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So are you someone that wants to work out in a way that is very intense, that's gonna burn as many calories as possible and help you go in the direction of burning any excess fat so you can have a lean, ripped body if you work out with this type of workout consistently over time? Because if so, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. This is a full body, high intensity interval training workout that is only going to be using your body weight so you don't need a gym membership you have no excuses whatsoever you may want a mat i've got a mat and all you need is a phone with a timer as well so there is going to be six different exercises and anyone will be able to do these i've tried to use the most basic exercises possible that are high intensity specific interval training exercises that are really going to get your heart rate up and your body heat which is going to give you the best fat burning benefits that you can get so yeah start your timer and what i'm going to do is you don't necessarily have to do this i'm going to only rest for 15 seconds because the shorter the rest interval is the more calories you're going to burn and the more fat you're then going to burn but if you feel that you need to rest for longer you could rest 30 seconds anywhere up to 60 seconds but what i'd recommend is over time try and reduce the rest interval down to 15 seconds and with these exercises you're going to do three rounds i'm just going to show you one round in total so yeah just do the best that you can do and the first exercise i'm going to be doing is jumping jacks for 60 seconds if you find that's too long for you then just do a shorter time but try and work up to 60 seconds you could even do longer if you feel that that is necessary for you so jumping jacks are very very simple and we'll start in a second once my timer's almost ready so yeah you just be in a standing position like so and then you just go like this so legs together and then you jump split your legs apart as wide as you can and throw your arms up in the air. Make sure to be conscious of your breath. Really good deep breaths. And the higher you jump, like so, as you can see that I was doing then, the harder it's going to be and it's going to result in more calories being burned. So if you want to make it harder, jump higher. And I'm already having really deep breaths being automatically induced within my body because this is quite intense. It's like a good bit of cardio. Okay, so that was one minute. So yeah, then rest for around 16 seconds, well 15 seconds, sorry. I said the wrong length then next it's mountain climbers so you're going to get into like this position and i'll show you it now from the side quickly and then i'll switch so it'll be like that so 60 seconds 60 seconds in total on this one as well so yeah just bring your knees up as close as you can to your elbows don't pause, just bounce from one foot to the other. This is really good ab workout. It's good for your shoulders, your triceps. Woo. And yeah, if you're a beginner, you're definitely going to be able to do it for 60 seconds because that is really, really intense. You might only be able to do it for around 30 seconds, but that is absolutely fine. Next up is jumping squats. So with the jumping squats, just jump as high as you possibly can. Obviously the higher you jump, the harder it's gonna be. Over time you'll be able to jump higher. I'm not gonna jump too high, but yeah, you have your legs shoulder width apart, bend down, ask the grass, 
and then come up like so and you want to do around 12 to 16 reps and yeah look you can jump really high if you feel that you can do it Fifteen for me. Woo! I'm definitely feeling my heart rate go up very high. My body heat is rapidly increasing. Next is bicycles. So, with bicycles, you lie on your back like so. Have your hands like this. Be leaning slightly back. I'll show you from the side. So you'd be like here and then you go like that and I recommend do anywhere from 18 to 24 reps in total and make sure that you twist to the side like you see that I am put one leg straight out bend one then the other one really feeling that burn in my abs and you should be too so that was around 24 for me like I said you don't necessarily have to do 24 around 18 would be fine 16 but I wouldn't really recommend going any less than 16 in total so one rep would be when you put one leg straight then when you switch legs that's our rep and then we're now going to move on to the last one, which is high knee taps. I recommend doing these for 60 seconds, but for absolute beginners, you're not going to be able to necessarily do it for 60 seconds. So this one's very simple. All you do is go like so. The higher your knees come up, the, the more challenging it's obviously going to be. So just do the best that you can do. Just because I can do 60 seconds doesn't necessarily mean that you can. So yeah, just make sure you push yourself to your limit, push through your mind's limitations, get rid of any weakness that's in your mind and just push through and just make it happen. Like I said, be conscious of your breath, be very good with your deep breaths. And man, I'm feeling this in my legs a lot. So after the high knee taps, you want to rest for around 15 seconds again, and then do burpees with knee push-ups. And I'll demonstrate to you how to do them quickly. So how you do it, you can jump straight up as high as you can, then get into a knee push-up position. Make sure your bum's not up in there, that it's down. Have your arms out far enough to do a proper knee push-up and go down. And then up, and then jump there. And you want to do around 12 to 16 reps. Just push yourself to your limit. So I'm going to do around 16. So, I get down first, push up, jump. Just do the best that you can do, like I said. If you don't know how to do push ups, make sure you're doing it with perfect form, learn how to. I'll put a link for a video up above that teaches you how to do it in perfect form. And that is it, done. So that's the end of the workout. I recommend doing this once to twice a week. Do three rounds of each exercise. And when you finish one round, rest for around two minutes. 
Otherwise you burn out your central nervous system, your adrenals, and that's not what you want to do at all. And yeah, if you have any questions about anything to do with this video, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Share this with others. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to receive a lot more videos from me with specific videos that you're going to see from me are videos on calisthenics, high intensity workout videos, body weight videos, weight loss videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels that I've managed to, and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.